to this place. You know, beyond our shores exist infinite threats, and our role is to protect our island from these uh, epidemics. I suppose. Fundamentalism, civil unrest, violent crime, overpopulation, disease, they're all threatening to upset the very delicate balance that we maintain here. Now, whilst a few of them are genuine victims of persecution, I think the majority are bogus, illegal, and dangerous. We must stay ahead of them. So we use technology to defend ourselves from outsiders who come to take advantage of our compassion, essentially. And we maintain them in secure, sterile, humane removal centres so that we can keep an eye on them. And you don't have to worry about violence and pathogens. It's really great. And here, they're free to play athletics, practice religion, eat, drink, sleep, watch TV, and well, yeah, exist, I suppose, without doing harm to our population within a secure, controlled environment. It's essentially a humane and efficient system, mechanised, as it were, to neutralise the hazard of the outside world. And 
abstinence is being free from all oppressions and oppressive instruments. That is freedom for me. None of us see any future. I'm an old man. I have no life left. When you invaded my country, I'm asking for your help to give me an asylum. Hello. This is Clifton Cameron calling from Collingwood Immigration Center. I'd just like to know why is it that I have been keeping so long in detention? I tried to call the Home Office on many occasions to speak to my caseworker and all I get is just the voicemail. I'm stressed and I'm upset. No wonder why a lot of people commit suicide. I can't stay in this situation indefinitely.